these two young stars are weaving their magic once again as they reprise their roles in the eagerly awaited Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. Times like these, dark times, they can bring people together. Take my hand. And they can tear them apart. These are mad times we live in, mad! You're the chosen one, Harry. You have to realize who you are. Without you, we we'll leave the fate of our world to chance. You must not fail. Fight back, you coward! Fight back! It's over. Earlier in the week, Rove travelled all the way to London to chat one on one with Daniel and Rupert on the Harry Potter set. Come on, because this is like your set, cool, isn't yeah. it? And well, come on. You know, this moment. is all fake, don't you? Just say no. Yeah, and for the viewers as well, for any children watching, do we want to disillusion them immediately? Well, because I got a little bit excited because I've come in, I've just gone, oh my god, it's like properly Dumbledore's office, yeah. and like I've noticed there's a sorting hat up there and all that there's sort of stuff. Up there. It is, it's, it's pretty, it, it is pretty amazing. So well, how's it going? Yeah, because you're it's currently going shooting, well. let's say, the last book, but as two movies. As two movies, but we're shooting it in one go. So uh, we're on day, I believe, we're on day 84 of 247 days today. So is it feeling like the end for you guys now? I don't know, at the moment it still feels like we've just started. It doesn't actually feel like it's ending yet. So have you thought about what that last day's going to be like? I have thought about it. I mean, I think it'll be quite um, sad and quite kind of, you know, be very emotional. Because it's been like half my life. Yeah. I'm going to miss it, I think, because I've really enjoyed it and it's just been, it's an amazing few years, yeah. But by the same token, you know, it'll be very exciting to suddenly... You're over it, aren't you? You're over gotta, it. I'm, yeah, got You have had a gutful. I just want to come and get out of this What well, is that weird? Because I, I yeah. can't help but watch thinking, wow, I remember when you were all just little kids. Yeah. I guess because most of the films around the time, sort of kind of like puberty, really, when we were all sort of changing and stuff, so um, like, when our voices broke, that was quite a big moment. And... It's just been it's just been a weird way to kind of grow up, I guess. And it's strange because I was actually in um, one of the producers' office the other day, and I saw all these pictures that were taken of us on the first film. And uh, we do. I look like a little frog, <laughs> and, uh, with, with sort of frog eyes and mad face, and just hyperactive bundle of energy running around the set, wreaking havoc. In fact, in, in that respect, actually, not a huge amount has changed. <laughs> now you've got a bit of stubble, I'm noticing. I've got a bit of stubble actually for the film, which is quite exciting. This is a big. This Can is, you do is, it though? Are they going to edit it in CG, CGI afterwards? No. <laughs> this is this is the, this is the level of stubble we're keeping Harry at. We have to. We're sort of going for a bit of a, the old sort of George Michael perma stubble. See that girl over there? Apparently, she's trying to smuggle you a love potion. Really? Hey, she's only interested in you because she thinks you're the chosen one. But I am the chosen one. OK, sorry. How are you finding, especially the characters that are coming into their own with puberty and the ladies, the ladies? How is, it, how is that reflecting on screen as well as off, Radcliffe? Um, <laughs> they, they can't stop themselves. They just, it's like, no, no, get away from it. No, it's a, it's a, it's a nightmare. No, hardly. Um, but, but on screen, I get to, I've obviously been kissing Ginny yeah. a lot yes. in, the, in the sixth film. I say a lot, you know, uh, once. And obviously Ron certainly comes into his own in Half-Blood Prince. It must be great for a was... redhead to get a bit of action. <laughs> it was good, yeah. It was, um, yeah, it wasn't really used to it. It was quite, quite, quite strange. These girls, they're going to kill me, Harry. And you as an actor are having to kiss. Did, did the rest of the cast make fun of you over that? Um, yeah, well, my kiss was a lot different to uh, the Dan's kiss. He was in a room on his own and it was like a closed set and everything. And, but my, my kiss was in a room full of like about 50 people in the room, kind of cheering and chanting. and It was quite, it was quite embarrassing. Do you think she knows I exist? I bloody well hope so. She's been snogging you for three months. Is there that weird uh, similarity, I guess, to talking about all you guys having grown up together now? Does it feel a bit like kissing your siblings? Well, I don't have any siblings, but I imagine it probably does feel sort of like, you know, when I kissed Bonnie Wright, it was very weird, because I didn't know about any of the Jenny stuff was when, when we started doing the films. So I didn't know that that relationship was going to develop how it did. And so it was rather... It did feel slightly incestuous and, 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 and weird. <laughs> do this. In shooting Half-Blood Prince, which incidentally, I heard a story that there was a trivia night that you and Rupert were at and, and that came up as a question you couldn't 
you didn't know the answer. Oh, no, it was Order of the Phoenix you didn't know. Was that correct? No, I would have got that, I'm sure. I knew it was bullshit, I knew. Uh, no, no, sorry, no. I'm good. <laughs> I've got, although I have to say, you know, when I play, um, I'm gonna, it's gonna make it sound like I do this all the time. I don't. I was at a party not long ago where um, Harry Potter Seen It came out. Do you have Seen It? Yeah, yeah. it's the DVD yeah. board game. Yeah. And I was atrocious. I was really, really disappointed in myself. And I thought, because I thought, oh, I've got this one in the bag. I'm going to come across as really, like, cool. And all these girls are going to see me when I was 11. They're going to get off with me. You know, it was going to be an amazing night, but it just didn't happen that way. <laughs> I was rubbish at the game. Hey, now, have you thought, especially with everything wrapping up, are you going to take any souvenirs at the end of all of this? Um, I've already got a few stuff. I've got, like, a piece of... Uh, remember the chess, the chess scene in the first one? Was, like, oh, yeah. A, I've got a piece of that. I've got a tie from last year. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm looking around here and there's like bronzed phoenixes, there's people's know, we, memories we in small vials, we and you've got a tie. <laughs> that doesn't seem fair. Do you want to take something now? I don't even know what that is. And I have no power. Oh, so there you go. Good choice. You've earned that. <laughs> I'll put it back now. Thank you. Thank you. But there you go. You can have it later. Do you know, I was excited to uh, discover that half these books are uh, not magical spells whatsoever. Do you rifle through these things? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you, you do. Okay. Uh, unforgivable curses. Let's yeah. do something evil. And what is it? It is, in fact, a telephone directory. It's a friggin' yellow directory. painting. <laughs> yes, the yellow painting. In my life, I've seen things that are truly horrific. Worse. Are you going to do more acting outside of Harry Potter when it all finishes up? I bloody hope so. It'll be weird for you acting without glasses on. Um, it will, but I'm just going to have it written into my contract that any character I play has to have glasses or at the very least a monocle. <laughs> <laughs> you OK, but are you ready for your final five? Yeah, OK, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. brilliant. Yeah, got it. We're doing this again? Yeah. Oh, great. God, I've forgotten about this. Uh, number five, <laughs> what are you scared of? Being buried alive. I'm scared of spiders. Well, what do you do if you see a spider? Like, how do you react? It depends. I mean, I know in Australia you get quite big ones. Like, they hide and wait for you to turn up and yeah. then they get you. <laughs> yeah, I, can, I don't know if I can handle that. But I would probably cry if I saw a deadly one. Fair enough. <laughs> um, number four, what is your opinion on magicians? Um, I, I, I actually think magic's wonderful. Um, not, uh, not like wizardy magic? No, 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 no. <laughs> um, but, um, <laughs> but no, um, magicians, I, I, I love it. I actually do a certain amount of it. Um, very, not very well, but I, I do. Um, and what do you do? Um, I do some card tricks. Oh, things. do you? Yeah, I do. You know Daniel does that? <laughs> he does do that, yeah, he's quite good. Has he ever come up to you and gone, here's my latest card trick or whatever? Yeah, he used to have uh, some rings to do. The big linking rings? The linking rings. Did he really? Yeah. You know, that seems odd to me. <laughs> I, would, I would question a castmate who would <laughs> do <laughs> magic. Really? Yeah. I don't know. It seemed all right at the time. But I, I don't like the thing I don't like about magicians is when they do profess to be actually performing magic. So uh -huh. you know when they do all that guff about an hour with a click of your fingers, you can simply make them and then they say, You did that, that wasn't me. It's like, no, of course it was you. I don't know how the trick works. Of course it was you. I hate all that. But I love it, I love I just love the skill of it. I think it's fantastic. Right. And how come you can't get a girlfriend again? What was that? Uh, oh, <laughs> yeah, because of the card tricks and the oh. Number three, do you ever get tired of people making jokes about your wand? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that does come up quite a lot, and even the call sheets we get. There was one the other day, um, Hermione's eyes widen as Ron takes out his wand. <laughs> Are you about to make a joke about my wand? Uh, if you want, or Hogwarts, something about Hogwarts. <laughs> on Hogwarts is better, actually. I haven't heard that one so much. Do I get tired of people making jokes about my wand? As long as they're paying attention to it, I don't mind. Good. <laughs> nice. Uh, number two, this is for you specifically, do you consider yourself a role model for ginger nuts? Yeah, I like to think I've, uh, done something for the, the, the ginger people out there, yeah, I mean, it's not easy being ginger, I must, like, at school and that, we do get quite a hard time. Do you use the term ranger? No, we don't. Like a ranger tang. That's an no, Aussie term that's to great. say ranger. That's good. One reason we have is blood nut. Blood nut's good. Which is good, but ranger, that's brilliant. Uh -huh. Oh, that's what we was getting called for the, enjoy, for the rest of your life, Brent, enjoy it. And this is your final question, your visual question, what's the first thing you think of when you see this? Oh, my God. <laughs> They're mental. Of course they are. That man's drilling a hole in his head. I just want to know what happens next. Are they a pop act or something? Is this Ori Men Orient Idol? Um, <laughs> and thank you very much Cheers, for your time. You. Really appreciate yeah. it. Thank you for allowing me into, into what is not your uh, office. office. Or indeed my house or anything that I've had anything to do with. The whole thing you. is fake. It's been an absolute pleasure. Well, thank you very much. Good it's to always see you again. Pleasure. And hopefully next time I'm in Australia you'll have me back on the show. Have me back on the show. Mm. I'm better than Rod anyway. <laughs> <laughs>